I didn't get jacked. I quit. But yeah, all right, I should have told you. I was just <sighs> embarrassed. And it all happened so fast. I'm still trying to sort things out. See things rationally. Huh. Well, you could have talked to me about it. <laughs> yeah, because you're so dang rational. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm sorry, that's mean. I'm trying to be less mean. So why even try, you know? What's the point? What, Marceline? No, come on. We're always the underdogs, you and me. And we always pull through. Like that one time, you remember? The case of the purloined egg? No. I told you. That's it. I'm done. This means someday you'll die. You know that, right? I guess that'll be my last adventure. Marceline, I'm so very, very, very excited to test my new lab out on you. Well, don't get all sentimental on me. Come on over here. You know I care about you. I think you're making the right choice. Your natural lifespan is going to be richer and fuller than you can imagine. And someday, when you die, I'll be the one who puts you in the ground. Hmm. This looks like a delivery tunnel from the old rock candy mines. Huh. We haven't been down here in hundreds of years. Remember when I'd get you out of those stinky Cheese Kingdom trade meetings and we'd sneak down here and spray paint the walls? Um, I am pretty sure it was me who found you vandalizing my property. <laughs> yeah, but I got you to tag something, didn't I? I bet I could find it. Here, come on. We used to follow the minecar rails. Yeah, but watch out for Marceline. She's gone rapid. What? Marceline's gonna rap for me? Yeah! <gasps> 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 Woof. Thanks, Bonnie. It's enough low-grade red to get me home, at least. Bonnabelle Bubblegum, always so prepared. Yeah, I have to be always so prepared. We can't all just wing it. I didn't have to always worry about so many things, you know? The Candy Kingdom used to be so small, so manageable. Then it kept growing and growing, and there was always some new disaster to prepare against. Is that why you stopped talking to me? That's seriously what this is about? Rescuing your old teddy bear? Yeah, sorry I didn't tell you. You might not have come otherwise. Um, yeah. Raggedy Princess can make you a new hambo in like three seconds. I'm not getting a new hambo. There's only one hambo. It's just a doll. See this? Mm. What's that? You gonna bought me one? It's coming in for a landing. What you gonna do, PB? Wanna keep dissing hambo? <sighs> I'm sorry, Marceline. Let's go get Hambo. Disengage. Your tag! We actually found it. Man, your handwriting hasn't changed at all. <laughs> Still as prissy and prim as... What? Hey, hey, whoa, wait. I didn't mean... I like your handwriting. I think it's really pretty. It's... it's not that. I lost my hat. We can get you another hat. I lost my hat, lost my home, lost my people. I can't even keep darn varmints out of my pumpkin patch. Oh, Bonnie, you're... I tried. I really, really tried. I just, I thought that if I shut everything out and just focused on work, it would all be okay. And look where that landed me. All I managed to do was push everyone away. I pushed you away. I'm sorry, Marceline. I've been a real dinger to you. Come on. What are you even apologizing for? Marceline, here's your rock shirt. Hey, that's not... It's mine! That's mine! You... kept the shirt I gave you? Yeah. It, uh, means a lot to me. But you never wore it. Dude, I wear it all the time! As pajamas. Nah, I'm cool being a vampire again. Being mortal was good. At the same time, it was terrifying. Now I'm a vampire with fresh mortal memories and, I don't know, more empathy or something? More grown up. Bonnie, thank you for helping me grow up. Now I guess we get to hang out together forever. Mm -hmm.